Elkmont Campground. The nearest town is Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It has an elevation of 2,150 feet. It's the largest and the busiest in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park campgrounds. It's only open from March 9th through November 25th. It has 220 individual campsite. Maximum people per site is six. And 200 of them have paved driveways, picnic table, fire ring with a cooking grate, which is really cool, and a gravel tent pad. These sites can accommodate either a tent or RV camping. There's an additional 20 campsites that are walk-in sites where you park your car and then you walk to your campground. Also, nine sites are wheelchair accessible and they have four group campsites. When you pull in, that's where you register. You can either have a reservation or it's first come first serve. Everywhere when you're driving, everything is a reminder to bear proof your campsites because it's known to have black bears throughout the park. It's right on the river. It's one of the prettiest campgrounds that I like. These are for the campsite that are right on the river and cross over this stream. These people think of everything. They even have their hammock enjoying with their tents. Right on the river. There's another small camper with a slide out in the back. And they got the motorcycle. Wow. More tent camping. They're gonna be when they wake up in the morning, they're gonna be surprised. So cold in the winter, plus the elevation here. On the right side is the tent pads, and on the left side is the camping pads. A lot of garbage cans, and I hear the water. Here's the water. Some of these sites are right on the river. How would you wake up? Like to wake up that in the morning? Beautiful. Look at these people. Tent camping right on the river. I love the fact that every single site has a fire ring and a table, picnic table. That makes it nice. You don't have to bring your own grill. All the sites are on the river. down right there. That's one of those eggshell campers, the escape. Right when I said there's hardly any big motor homes, I turn the corner and look. Those people living in style with their golf cart, got their solar, they got their awning. That's where you put your ticket. There's one of the restrooms in the background. They have those throughout the whole campground. It's a perfect weekend for camping. Very creative. This is a tent on the back of a pickup truck. Look at that. Wow. 
That's very, very creative. I have to get another picture of that. Wow. Wow. Nappler. These people think of everything with their own screen room. And this is one of those foldable campers where it's almost like a pop-up, but it folds up. It's called an A-liner. I watched a video and the woman said it was very stressful setting it up. Here's a pop-up with a slide out. That is unbelievable. Uh, not a pop yeah, one side, one side, and then a slide out. Boy, that can sleep a lot of people. People. Here's another camper, uh, fifth wheel with a slide out. It seems like we're getting a little more um, bigger campers here. And here's another pop-up with a slide out. That must be the thing. Boy, they're having a good time cooking. A lot of people bring their own screen rooms, their own awnings, or their own tarps, if you notice, so they don't get wet because the showers come. This must be the tent section. Maybe that's why back where we were, there were no tents. Here, everywhere you look, there's tents. More tents. Tents. Yeah, a lot of room. You don't feel like everybody's next to you. Here's another pad. See how nice the pads are, the gravel pads with the table? This one's ready, waiting for somebody to pull up there. And you have your own personal drive. Really, really nice. Beautiful. So you wake up, you never know what you're going to find. Here's another spot, L4. That is a beautiful. See how they have a lantern pole? You can hang your lantern. Those are tent pads. Yep. That's what they are, it's tent pads. These people are really prepared. They've got it going on. They are serious campers. They know about when the showers come in one, two, three, you need to have shelter because otherwise you're gonna get drenched. And these people, they really, they're not really prepared. The only thing I can give them credit for is that they did put a tarp underneath their tent in case it gets wet because when the rains come, boom, the water goes right in your tent. There's an airstream. Look at that airstream. Flamingos. And the flamingos. You, I bet they're from Florida. Everywhere you look is a reminder, have you bear-proofed your campsite? Because the bears, while you're gone or you're hiking, they'll come in there and they'll just terrorize looking for food. So they really stress about watching out for, for bears. This is the campground concession stand. Get this sign. Get this ice, sign. ice, wood, camping. Beer habit food storage reg regulations enforced. So you can buy your supplies here, like wood, ice. And they've got some. Oh, look at all that nice wood. Another pop up. modern kind of fifth wheel. Another fifth wheel. A lot of fifth wheels. Right on the river. Going home. The 
the bikes. It's an airstream. Couple airstreams. Here's a little airstream with his solar, portable solar panels. Wow. That's something else. This is one of those Geo Pro Pros by Rockwood. One of those small campers. tent camping. Casita. Wow, our very first casita. Look at that with the dual propane tanks. Wow, that's a cute little one. Ah, it's really small camping. Right on the river. Remember, this campground does not provide electricity, does not provide showers or water hookup. This is truly boondocking. This is living off the grid. But you will be pleased to know that it does have restrooms with flushing toilets. And there's a spigot with cold running water outside the restroom in case you need to fill up your jugs or your water bottles. Thanks for viewing. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe.